trying to load up because it's been so long. Real quick, set that real quick, set it back to where it was, and one more just because. There we go. That's good. So, we are back over here at the Museum of Unnatural History. Not much has changed since then, and we'll go down and look at Come Alive next. I've been basically sleeping over here because I've been working on a new exhibit. What is this? I need to figure out what I'm doing with this. Oh, I need to finish this walkway. Um, come alive. Beautiful colors. This, I changed this because I decided that if we're going to put something in, which I actually do have the eggs for what we're going to put in here, in my inventory, that we should be able to really be really see it like clearly and need to go and get glass from the house to fill this in that way we'd have a great like just clear view of what's going to be living in here but you also might have seen this we're also going to work on the path so this is not permanent it's just sort of temporary to keep people from falling into a well but go through here and you go up, and this is where we're going to have the two rhinos that we have now. And they're, I've decided they're going to be Javan rhinos because I did a little bit of research on the five extant species of rhino. Let's see if I can name these off now. You have the Sumatran, the Javan, of course, the Indian, the black, and the white. There we go, all five. I'm actually successful at something. Um, so. I decided this is going to be a Javan Rhino exhibit because I was reading into them and they really have kind of gotten a short stick in conservation. They had historically the largest range of any of the extant species of Rhino, but now they have the smallest with the exception of the White Rhino where there's only a few of them left. And I thought that it was just, it just makes sense to have them in here, and also not many people know about the Javan, because they're so little known. For the longest time, people would confuse Javan rhinos and Indian rhinos, because they lived in the same place, and they look almost identical, it's just in genetic differences, and a little bit of size, and the way that the horn work well not works, but the way the horn shapes, and there's not many like physical differences between them. So, also I wanted to make it a point to use these um, fireflies at least inside the exhibit where people can see that way it looks sort of naturally lit and um, I want to use I want to get more dirt to do this so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to grab glass so we can cover in that enclosure and I'm going to look and see what eggs we have but at the moment I have these two cassowary eggs with 100% spawn rate thanks to the, um, what is that? What is that machine called? Incubator from Exotic Birds. I don't know why I could not remember the name of the mod and it's one of my favorites. So, I'm gonna run first and see what's in here. I tend to leave things in chests and forget about them, so. Oh, on the backpack. Let's see. I have glowstone in here. That's cool. Mossy stone bricks. Tons of limestone. Oh, dirt. Do I have glass? I don't think I do, so I will need to grab some of, grab some glass. That's great that I looked in there first. And also we'll grab another stack to put into the sifters because who knows we might find some more biofossils and then we'll be able to potentially get the dinosaurs and oh my gosh I'm I just need a second Dryosaurus and then I'm gonna be happy because Dryosaurus is literally my favorite dinosaur in the fossil and archaeology mod let's see oh we need to set up um Okay, so I had this idea a while ago. Mind you, I have not touched this world since the last video. Well, with the exception of like that um, 
ex the exhibit change in the um, Rhino exhibit started. That's very annoying. I wish there was a way to turn down the volume of just that. Come on. Thank you. I'm close. So let's take one of these. And also, I wanted... When it comes to names with these guys, I really want to go with something from their home range, be it their original or um, current range, which now they're just off of a very, very small peninsula in Indonesia. But historically, they ranged up to far eastern India, um, Bangladesh, Vietnam, Malaysia, well, Peninsular in Malaysia. Um, let's see, Cambodia, and I want to say Laos is over there too. But, yeah. I'm like, that. I really want to do something like that. And since we have two of them, we're, we're going to go with we have a male and a female, and we're part of the species survival plan for the Javan rhino, and we're trying to breed them and basically send them out to other places that way they can repopulate their old ha their old um habitat hey Bubo, how are you we are need to look at this one I have one biofossil but i want to keep that for the museum because you can turn those into like big skeletons that sort of look like real like exhibits so i wanted to keep that um we have one dryosaur Alligator gar. We're gonna need this for the um, Orthocanthus exhibit because I wanted to make their exhibit when in the aquarium. Which actually we need to go back to that. We haven't we haven't even finished it, and I'm starting new projects, which is not good. It means a whole lot of stuff is gonna go unfinished, and that's not not at all good for me. Um, Yes, yes, I do need to replace that. I just haven't gotten around to it. Thank you for pointing that out, Bubo. Let's see, you got tons of fish in there. Do you have the info? I don't even have the glass in here. It's where I keep a lot of glass, just in case that happens. Um, I don't know what to do. Do you have anything in here? I do. Ducks! Oh my gosh, yes. We have ducks. We have to do something with these guys. This is are these not both duck eggs? Okay. Oh no, oh they just don't stack in that. Okay. Um I have stone in here and I'll have glass. I know I keep glass in here in case one of the Ooh, maybe it's already in this. Not this one. And this. No. Oh, I also need to grab sand for the water feature. Yeah, that's gonna be... So I'm gonna have, basically, a water feature that starts on one side and goes underneath the bridge that's like the viewing platform for the exhibit. What am I looking for? Glass. That's the whole reason I came here. Oh my god. I'm... Where would I put glass? Um... Wood. Animals. What animals do I have here? We have the mushroom, the fox, zebra shark, which we need to use, the flamingo, which is, I believe, that is the great flamingo. Not great, um... Is that the name we gave it? The Great Flamingo. A boar. And the two rhinos. And then we have two, four, five villagers. Two, um, Jurassic Craft Brachiosaurus and one fossil in archaeology. Ankylosaur. Stegosaur. Paris. I don't know why that just like stopped me dead in my tracks. Parasaurolophus, Triceratops, Plesiosaur, that's the Orthocanthus. So I want to put the um, alligator gar 
in that exhibit with it and it's going to be like a really wide swamp looking exhibit so sort of like to add a bit more life to that one and that would look really cool and i really want to work on that soon the lord knows that i really should not be jumping around because that's not at all good i have duck eggs where did i want to where did i want to put ducks i forgot i had like a whole thing on where i wanted to have ducks and i don't remember where that was i'll have to find it like remember it somehow oh glass jesus i'm let's go this way you look glass reinforced glass that's clear stuff um is there anything else i need to grab sand i'm gonna need more sand than this hopefully i have some sand in in the lab because i always end up with sand from the filters so the filters the sifters so hopefully something comes up I don't know why, but I enjoy backing out of doors. So, let's see. Dun, dun. Annoying sound. Ooh, plant fossil. We do have sand, and this is not going to be enough. I really hope those aren't done. I feel like there's something in here. There is! Arsenio... Arsino... Arsinoetherium. I don't know why I can't... I can't speak right now. That's at a hundred, and I think hundreds are not over here. On this side. Hmm... These are 50%. What do I have at a hundred? Triceratops, Kylosaur... Gallimimus, Titanus, Velociraptor, and Arsinoetherium. I don't know why that. I have to like separate out that one word. Okay, 16 sand is not going to be enough to make this water feature. But it'll have to do for now, and we can come back to it later. <laughs> Also, if we're doing a water feature, we're going to need water. Let's take this pick. And I need you. And don't worry, Booba, I'll bring it back. It's not going to be a problem. So, plan put glass. Then. I kind of want to put the cassowaries in there, but I don't. I don't want them to get hurt because that um the little tunnel on the side, like the little hidey hole, which will when I get to it, I'll show you guys. Um, I feel like they'd be too short for them because they're really tall birds in the exotic birds mod. I really don't want to risk them getting hurt, but I don't want to leave that exhibit like empty for so long. If that makes sense. So let's go and look at it real quick. So this is the hidey hole, and I I couldn't make it deeper, I guess. Like, just sort of slope this section down more. Hmm. Thinking. I dug this up one. How many problems would that cause? I've got enough dirt to cover that up. I've got more than enough dirt to cover that up. Okay, well, let's try it. Um, da, 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 where is the pick? No, pick. Just raise the roof in this room, and then lower the floor out there. Sort of equal out, if that makes sense. And 
let's grab the dirt. Check with these for No, it's not where I put you. And this stack. So I do that, and now I'm going to have to pick this back up and shift it one over. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to have to move this two over. Because if we have it, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm like really quiet and just like deep in thought right now. So if I take no, it's not really what I want you to do, but thanks for trying. Let's take this gravel and I can... And look what that revealed. Where did you go? Oh, please give me biofossils. Honestly, not even going to waste the time. Now, there should be two seeds. And if you use seeds on carpenter's blocks, it makes this happen. Haha. Uh -huh. So, now I just need to let that expand. And I think I'm... I think I do want to put raisins in here. Could be cool. They're really interesting birds. And they look prehistoric. One. Oh my god. Two. Oh, okay, I thought it mishatched. I was like, how? Is it 100%? There's no way that could have failed. So. Here we go. Now we have two cassowaries. And now we add the glass. Now I realize now that there is no actual door to enter this exhibit, like as a keeper. That'll have to be something I figure out later. Because right now they're babies and it's not that big a deal. But soon that's going to be a problem. There you go. That's the end of it. There we go. Now. We've got Cassowary and Cassowary. Good. Everyone's alive. No one died. So, now that exhibit holds Cassowaries. And I can set that up and yeah, that's going to be really cool. So this guy is going to be for the Javan Rhino. And let's finish that back wall. And I want to do Oh, I have the sand to work on the water feature. So, as I mentioned before with Javan rhinos, they had one of the largest ranges of any extant species of rhinoceros. And so that's why I really wanted to make their, um, when I picked up the rhinos, that's why I was like, oh, well, let me Google and sort of see different species of rhinos and I can get an idea of, like, what I should make it. And that's like that one pulled on me really hard because I was like, oh my gosh, these guys have like taken it all. And it 
was hard, very heavily hit by the effect, by the um, actions in World War II in its um, home range. By, for example, Agent Orange that um, destroyed. One second. Da, da, da. I believe it was Agent Orange. I might be mixing it up. I'm not like a war. Um, I know tons of people who are like can tell you any facts you want to know about like any war that's ever happened and I'm like yeah I don't I don't know anything but I believe that's the one that would like destroy forests and that and that was literally the nail in the coffin for them and a lot of their range in peninsula um, Southeast Asia was how heavy that was used really like destroyed all of their um, their food and how they ate and what they ate and that basically told them that mm, we don't have many options for survival <gasps> and I believe the side I read said the last one in um, Vietnam was shot and they didn't realize that was the last one for a few years after. These, side note on um, these rhinos, just like the ones in game, they've got a pretty interesting ability to where they can climb vines, so I'm kind of concerned about all these vines around the dirt. Gonna have to get rid of, that way they can't climb those and escape. Go. Let's let's take these out too, because this this could be a problem and I don't want to deal with that. Oh there was a fly over here. Oh no I took it down and moved it. I forgot. Okay. This is gonna be a problem. Can I break it? I can. Okay, good. See, you're going to be a little harder to deal with. But necessary if I want to keep these guys in their exhibits. There we go. Now that you're gone, I've got to take this one. Now that I'm high enough, I can reach and pull you down. There we go. So, now this exhibit should be at least closed off enough for the rhinos. Now I'll go to the fun part. Building up water and then... I'm going to go and collect plants and I need to get more fireflies to light this section up because it's in here working for a while and um, it was attacked quite a few times by many um, undesirable mobs. Ah, I mean, what is it? Um, skeletons are the worst thing to exist as we've gone over many times before. There's no reason for them to have them. They should just remove them from the game. They're just a nuisance to everyone who plays the game. Um, I feel very strongly about um, the existence of skeletons. But apparently the game loves to freeze right now. So, move a little bit. Thank you. Wrong button. Now let's grab this sand. Now why am I using sand? Because I dislike the look of grass underwater. That I don't really enjoy that at all. In order to keep that from happening, you have to replace it with either sand or gravel. And I don't mind doing that because 
Also, there's mud, and I know that rhinos love mud. That's one of the things they love to wallow in. That's literally a large portion of their life, like their life and what they enjoy. So, oh my God, that sounds like a bear, and I, I just can't. Um, so I need to go and find mud, or see if there's a way to craft it, because I know um, biomes of plenty adds it i just don't know where the easiest place to oh wait remember a while ago we went to the swamp i might have to go back there and sort of collect mud to put around this exhibit because rhinos would wallow in it and it would make like a cool um oh we need a keeper to talk about rhinos here because why not rhinos What are you doing? Why why do you do why would you place it there? Okay, now you're just now Favorite looks the coolest. And also, I need to figure out where we're going to put a tiger. Because there's a tiger that swims out in the lagoon. And I've really been meaning to catch. But I haven't because we've got no place to put it. We, we have, like, literally no idea of... Well, I have no idea of where. You guys might just... I don't mind if you give any random ideas like, Oh my gosh, you can put this animal here. You should... We should have an exhibit for this animal and this animal. If you have any ideas, definitely tell me. Because I def I jumped from the aquarium to rainforest animals and now that's probably not good. Because I don't think the aquarium is ever going to be finished now. We need to... We actually should go back to that. So... I think... I think next time what we should do is... um. Head back to the aquarium and carve out the next exhibit, the Orthocanthus, because I wanted um, after that first aquarium with the coelacanths in it. You basically go through the hall and it has different aquariums that basically show different species and from the order of like which they appeared in the fossil record. And it'd be really cool because since we have orthocanthus and zebra sharks, we can sort of show the story of sharks in a very interesting way. So I really want to try that. Just a second. Okay, I thought that, that was a fossil, and I just never noticed. I was actually going to be slightly mad if it was. Um, but yeah, we have all of the... Um, ooh last thing I want to do before I end this is I want to check the filters because the first thing that goes into the filter is what gets trapped there and it doesn't go down so I want to see if there are any fossils that end up trapped because so it has happened before and I was like so mad because I've had like filters running I'm like oh my gosh I'm not getting any fossils and this is like so many stacks of what whatsoever and I'm like, something has to be wrong. So I go up and check them, and there were like 20 or 30 fossils in the first section of it. And I'm like, oh, that would make sense as to why I haven't gotten any fossils, as they were all trapped inside of the filter. Or sifter, sorry, I keep saying filter. <laughs> Let's check this. Pottery shards, I might pull those out. Potato, I'm okay with that being in there. And bone meal. Yeah, nothing interesting. So, what we're gonna do. Thank you. Thank you, and I hear you. I don't really want to deal with the cave right now, but thank you. 
and gravel. Let's pull these pottery shards out because I actually might use them to make like the different. Um, I need to figure out how to do those because that's gonna be that has to be a little mini exhibit in the museum. It's like the different pottery stuff. Yeah, that's gonna be really cool. We didn't even work on the water feature. We'll we'll get to that another time. But I do want to look in here and see if anything cool comes out. Um, I doubt it, honestly. So, well, with this I am going to say I will see you guys next time. This has been really cool, and I'm glad I've been able to get back to to it. And yes, oh well. Um, first off, as always, check out the link to the Sean's Wild World shop. There's a whole bunch of new stuff. There's a pink-headed duck set of gear. You can get stickers, bags, t-shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts, mugs. I'm forgetting something. I know it. Oh, and socks. We have socks now, and soon there'll be other new things like potentially leggings apparently that's a thing now so I'm gonna try that I'm not saying it's gonna work but I'll give it a shot and let's see check out that link um, if you want check out other vi other videos that I have there's um, the kingdom which is really good if you are into ecology and animal biology and ethology which is animal behavior then that's definitely something I'd recommend checking out um, see I mentioned the let's see Sean's World World Shop check um other playlists check oh I got more plant fossils and something was oh more sand winning so I think with that I'm gonna say I will see you guys next time definitely check out those links and if you haven't hit subscribe yet why not? Go ahead. I mean, it doesn't hurt. So, I will see you all.